let's take a look at determining if a function is invertible. Okay, to determine if a function is invertible, I want to take a look at ordered pairs, and I want my ordered pairs to be one-to-one. -one. A one-to-one -one function means for every x value, I only have one unique y value, and for every y value, I have only one unique x value. That means that I should not have any x or y values repeated. The other test for this is that I could use a horizontal line test. Horizontal line test on a graph would tell me that my horizontal line should never come into contact with the graph more than one time. So let's take a look at this first example. We're given three ordered pairs. This is indeed invertible. Okay? It's invertible because for every x value, I have a unique output. If I had been given 0, 2, 3, 5, and instead of 620, suppose I had been given 6, 2. In this particular example, since I have two x values, and they each have out a y value, this would have been no. It would have been no because it's not one to one. If I take a look at my function x squared, this is your typical parabola. If I graph it specifically, I would start at 0, 0. I would rise up 1 into the right one, up 3 into the right one, then up 5 into the right one. And same thing on the left here. And this parabola does not pass the horizontal line test. And we see, in fact, if we draw a horizontal line, that it contacts or intersects our parabola at two spots, and therefore this is going to be not invertible as well. Hopefully this has covered a lot of review topics for you from section 9.4 in our text. Again, if you are not confident with these skills, make sure that you see me in the morning or reread your book notes on 9.4. I wish you all the best on your quiz. Good luck tomorrow.